But that doesn't explain a start like that, Michael, does it? Yeah, and I'm not quite sure it was totally Aries Merritt's fault. Um, if you saw that, I mean, I agree with Colin. There was lots of movement by many different people in that race. And if you look at the three athletes, or the, the, the three athletes, maybe even four on the right side of your screen at the start, all of those guys are out. Everyone else is still in the blocks. So that tells me that someone over there on the uh, left side of the, of, of the track uh, moved first and everyone else moved with them over there. But the guys on the right side of the track, including Aries Merritt, didn't feel that movement. So they were sitting there waiting for the gun. I don't think anyone false started, but I don't think everyone was settled in the lane. But great job by Aries Merritt getting himself back into this race as an automatic qualifier. Yeah, the Olympic champion had it all to do, didn't he, Denise? From about 50, he was, he was back in fifth, almost sixth place. Absolutely, and the key at that point is not to panic. He has to trust in his hurdling ability, his reputation, um, but I'm staggered. He was literally asleep in the blocks, and as Michael says, you know, the guys on his right were, were wobbling in the blocks, but Lagarde from France was stationary and unaffected, so I'm really surprised at that, but luckily he's through, because I think he's in better shape than he was early season.